Hi all. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how can we interact with Excel sheet using Apache POI. So what is Apache POI? Apache POI is a popular API or Java library which helps interact with Excel workbook to fetch test data. Right? So whenever it comes to data driven framework, we keep our test data in an external data source file. And that external data source file can be anything. It can be a properties file, it can be a text file, it can be an Excel sheet, it can be a database. Okay. So if we consider Excel sheet as our external data source file to fetch data during runtime, we need Apache POI. So now we are going to see what all interfaces and classes are available in Apache POI library. So first we will see the interfaces, interfaces available. So we have something called as workbook. So workbook interface is required for locating your Excel workbook where your excel file is located on your system right then we have something called as sheet so an excel workbook may contain multiple sheets and if you want to fetch data from a particular sheet then you need this interface then we have something called as row if you want to fetch data from a particular row or you want to access a particular row then you need row interface then we have something called a cell and if you want to fetch a value from a particular cell okay then we need cell interface now let's see what classes are available so we have something called as hssf workbook and x SSF workbook. So what is the difference? So whenever we are talking about Excel file or Excel workbook, so Excel workbook may contain extension as .xls or .xlsx. So HSSF workbook is used for dot xls file so if you want to interact with uh, excel sheet having extension dot xls then you have to create an object of hssf workbook class and you need to assign that object to the reference variable of workbook interface and xssf workbook is used for dot xlsx file so if you want to interact with an excel file having extension dot xlsx then you have to create an object of xssf workbook and you need to assign that particular object to the reference variable of web driver interface now let me show you the excel sheet so if you see this is my Excel sheet and it has username and password column. And here I have multiple sets of data. That means I have multiple usernames and uh, multiple passwords. And uh, this is my login sheet. Right? So, to fetch data from this particular Excel workbook, I'm going to write a class file and uh, that particular class file will have multiple methods 
method for counting the number of rows method for counting the number of columns method for fetching a particular cell value so to do that let me go to eclipse and uh, i will create a class file here and uh, i can name it as excel interaction okay excel interaction so or else i can name it as excel input and output excel input and output okay but before working with these interfaces and classes we need to download apache poi library right so let me show you the official website of apache poi library so this is the official website of apache poi library okay and this is the home page so we have to go to the download section don't worry i will give you all these links in the description so if you go down right yeah so this g file we have to download and if you see uh, the current version is 5.0.0 5.0.0 so this is the current version and we need to download this okay and this particular g file we need to download and we need to extract so this will have uh, multiple jar files so we have to take those jar files and we have to configure in our project so let's download it okay click on this particular link and it will start the downloading process if you see the size is 66.4 mb and it will take some time to be downloaded okay so what i will do is i will go to that particular folder and i will extract this zip file okay so if you see i have these many jar files over here right so take all these jar files if you remember in my root project folder i have created a lips folder right so i'll place all the jar files over here okay then if you go to leave you will find few more jar files take these as well to the leaves folder of your project and uh, you see this folder right double o xml hyphen leave it has also like few jars take these jars to the leaves folder of your project okay so you have to take all the jar files you have to consider all the jar files now what i can do is i'll go to my project right click on it and we have something called as build path then go to configure build path so we have something called as add external jars right so go to your root project folder selenium yes so we have to consider all these jar files select everything open apply and close okay so if you see 
on the referenced libraries now we have got all the jar files so we have got all the jar files okay so now what we can do is we can create a constructor over here okay so as we know like uh, constructor is a special member function which gets invoked when an object is created and constructor is being used for initialization right so what i can do is i can create a parameterized constructor over here so i'll write here public and constructor name must be the same as class name and i can pass file path and file name as parameters okay and both these variables are of string type okay so let me create the interfaces first reference variable of uh, the interfaces so i'll just write your workbook and i will initialize it to null first okay so if you do mouse over it will tell you to import that one let me just save it first so if you do mouse over you will get these options then we have something called as seat is equal to null if you do mouse over you will get an option to import so always go for org dot apache dot poi dot ss dot user model okay then we have something called as row is equal to null and import this and we have something called as cell also right is equal to null okay so we have initialized all the interfaces of apache poi library okay so these are the interfaces which we are going to use let me save it okay so in the next class or like in the next session i will show you like how can we initialize all these reference variables okay as of now we have initialized it to null but how we can initialize all these variables i mean the uh, reference variable of workbook using this constructor and how we can differentiate between dot xls file and dot xls x file okay so see you in the next video tutorial thank you for watching this